Hey everyone, it's another Junkin' App video. This time we're going to take all of these different accordion style folding pieces and turn them into decor. Let's start off in the kitchen. On the backs of each of these should be some kind of hanging system. We're just going to take a couple of small nails and use those loops on the back to hang them up. A little tap of the hammer. Let's hang some mugs here in the kitchen. Add a wreath. Incidentally, that wreath was made in one of my last videos. I'll link it below. Let's head up to the bathroom and see what we can create up there. I have hanging here two nails above the window and I'm just going to loop those hooks right on those nails. Looks like we're hanging a curtain so let's use some drop cloth to make some handmade curtains. I'm just taking one edge and showing you here how I fold the one side back, the other side back, and then use these clips to hold them in place. No sewing needed. We go to the other side of the same panel and use a clip. Then I fold it in half and then in between the fold and the clips I put another clip. I'm making two panels for my window, so that'll be done to the other side. Take them into the bathroom. And here I'm showing you how I use the already sewn edge of the drop cloth as my center point. point. And I'm just taking two hooks from each side and looping them on the accordion rack. Two rings. Keeping that already sewn edge as my middle line. Loop them right on there. Some decoration. This cream of almonds, which I thought was a kitchen item, is actually a bathroom item. It's some kind of whitening cream. It's very entertaining to read. That's the front and the back. And of course we're going to add a wreath. Looks good up there too. I love that. That's so pretty. And I think the versatility of it being so adjustable would be great for so many different people to put up as a window treatment. I am in desperate need of some kind of storage above the toilet in my upstairs bathroom. So I'm going to take this wine rack and turn it horizontal. Now I'm just using a couple of small nails because I'm not anticipating putting anything of any great weight on here, but if you need it to be more secure, I'd use bigger nails. Just taking some washcloths and some hand towels, I'm going to fold them and roll them, then place them in the little spaces in the wine rack. And finally, there's a hand towel that I can loop over this one cross brace, and it's perfect right next to the sink. just some really old pallet wood that I'm going to paint white. I 
we're going to take the same wine rack and just turn it vertically. Now taking those palette wood pieces that we painted white, we're going to just lay them on the little cross braces. Apparently I should have painted the bottoms, but we won't see that later. I didn't worry about attaching them as I'm not going to be putting too much weight on it. Just adding a few rolled up hand towels, washcloths, and a few little knickknacks. This pepsidant tooth powder was found in the ceiling along with those old clothes pins. Filtered soaps make pretty decorations. We made some in the last video. I'll link it below. When the spot you have is too narrow for it to go horizontally, you can always turn it vertically. Hang it on your nails. And add decorations. There's that wreath again. spool of thread and an old pair of scissors. This particular accordion rack was from Five Below and it was white and it's much smaller than the other one I was using. Since my daughter likes yellow so much, I thought we could paint it up and put it in her room. I used my computer to print off some pictures of my kids and I'm just cutting them down to size. Gluing them onto a stiffer watercolor paper. And then trimming those down to size. I wanted a little bit of a white border around each of the pictures to finish them off and make them look really nice. We grabbed some fairy lights, added some batteries, And we're going to use this basket to hide the battery pack. Twist them around the rack. Adding some of the greenery. Just using more of those clips that I used for the curtains to hang some pictures from the hooks. The clips can be purchased from Walmart.
This one is for Lachlan. It's an old folding yardstick ruler. Just adding some of his pictures that I cut down and put on heavier weight paper like I did for my daughter and adding a little bit of tape to the back to make sure they stay put. I think this just looks so neat leaned up against the wall like that. Okie dokie, now the real fun begins. We're going to make an accordion style hanger. You're going to need two packs of the five gallon paint stir sticks. 94 cents a pack at Walmart. They come three in a pack, so you need six sticks altogether. And you're going to cut them down so that you cut the little indentation handle part off. Now I'm sawing this in real time so you can see that it only takes maybe 15 seconds to get through the three sticks. And I found that after taping the first set, I ended up leaving the other pack all wrapped up in the plastic and it was so much easier to cut. So after you cut the handles off the two sets, you need to cut two of the sticks in half so that you'll have four long sticks altogether and four short sticks. Here I'm just giving them a stain with some Waverly antique wax. And once they're all dry, you're going to collect them and start assembling. I just used hot glue and Gorilla Wood Glue. Now to get started, you're going to take two of the short pieces and we're gonna line up those corners. A small dab of wood glue in the middle surrounded by some hot glue on the edges. The hot glue is gonna hold it in place quickly while the wood glue dries so that we can get this thing built. Make sure the edges and the corners are all lined up on these small pieces. And you'll notice with the stir sticks, they have measurements on the one side. So I wanted to make sure I had all the measurements down, face down. And you're gonna repeat that with the other two short sticks little dab of glue in the middle, surrounded by hot glue, and then make sure that those corners are nice and lined up. Because these two pieces are the basis of the rest of the project. So now that you have those two done, they're identical. You're gonna put one to the left and one to the right. You take your four long pieces. It goes under, Make sure your numbers are down, over, under, over. And then the short piece goes on the end. At this point, just lining up corners to kind of get the shape to be more like the diamonds that we are used to seeing on the other racks. We'll start with a little dab of wood glue, hot glue around the edges, secure it down in place, lining up those corners. Now I didn't put glue where the long pieces intersect there in the middle and I think I should have. I guess I could go back and do it 
but I would suggest putting a dab of glue there in the middle where those meet. Now these aren't going to adjust like the other ones do, but I'm okay with that. Instead of using pegs, I had these spools that I had gotten at a flea market, a whole bag of them. There's even more with actual thread on them, but I thought these would make a cute rack for a craft room. And I was looking to see what, how I wanted them laid out and then I go back and glue them all down. A little dab of wood glue followed by the hot glue to hold it in place. Now I would ideally put some hangers on the back of this but I couldn't find them so I just used this little bit of ribbon. It wasn't it wasn't great as you can see it got kind of tippy but it did the it did the job for now. And I'm just gonna go and decorate it. A little bell basket It's great for a little craft room, office, sewing room with these little spools on here. 